Eight-year-old man presents to his primary care with worsening headache and weakness. Symptoms began three months ago, and he has had difficulty lifting heavy objects and has had nausea. MRI reveals the following image. Which of the following is the most likely diagnosis? Is it A, schwannoma, B, meningioma, or C, glioblastoma? Well, here's the image. Now, we know adult brain tumors. We have the glioblastoma, most common in adults. In the, it's in the cerebral hemispheres. It can cross the midline associated with necrosis and GFAT positive. We have the meningioma. It's in the convexities associated with somoma bodies. You have these uh, calcifications like rings on a tree. We have the schwannoma. It's S100 positive, usually found at the cerebral-palatine angle, associated with cranial nerve 8. We have the oligodendroglioma. Oligodendroglioma. Uh, fried egg appearance uh, has a round nuclei with clear cytoplasm. And then we have the pituitary adenoma. This is the most common uh, with associated with prolactinoma. Uh, signs and symptoms are amenorrhea, hypogonadism, and, galact and galactorrhea. You have bilateral tem temporal hemianopsia. And derived from Rathi's pouch. But in this one, you can obviously see it crosses the midline. It uh, has the necrosis. It is a glioblastoma.